This is a quick demonstration of a new Rife 2 feature that I've been working on, which is a built-in um, build system to very quickly create Rive 2 applications and to very easily be able to extend your build cycle and um, execute typical Rive build commands. And so the new snapshot of Rive 2 actually has this built in. It is an executable char. So if I type help, you can see there's two commands. And if I do help create, it tells you that to create a new application, you have to provide it with the package and the name of the application. So I'm going to do help create, uh, come example, uh, my app, let's say. So now it's creating a, t a new project structure here from um, basically it mirrors what the Rive Hello World application does. And then it is integrating with Maven to download all additional dependencies that uh, would be integrated if you ran it standalone. But here it is all the dependencies of JUnit, of Jetty, and then uh, some here uh, JSoup in order to parse HTML in your tests. But these are all not critical. Um, if you de deplore, deploy it as a war archive, you basically need none of those and only the Rive jar. Um, so let's go into your application here, and this is the top of the structure. It's pretty simple. Um, and take a look here. There is a shell file to kick off the build system. And then if you go into the source directory, you've got main and tests, which are the ones that you'd expect. And then there's a new one called project. And project is the build file. The build file in this new build tool is written in Java and is just kicked off with the Java command by the shell script here. And then we'll, you can see here, the build file is kicked off. And then it will basically be compiled to Java and uh, execute the logic that you define here. Um, so you can see that it contains all the dependencies, it contains the configurations of your um, project itself, which repositories things have to be pulled down from. Um, and let's now also show how to use this. So I'm doing build.sh to look at your uh, build system here. And um, let's compile it. And then find, you can see that these classes have been created. And now I can do um, build run. And it's basically running. So I can do localhost 8080. There we go. And uh, so that's that one. Now, what it also supports is creating an Uber jar, which will automatically pre-compile the templates. And if you look into build dist, you can see the Uber jar is there. And I do build dist, my app Uber. And we've got the application running again. Um, now I could also, um, let's say, create a war archive. And so we've got this here, and do unzip list what is in the war archive, and do this. And see, it's a regular war archive ready, ready to rock. And that's it. That's the build system that's now built into Rife. Um, I'm going to give a little additional overview here. Um, so let's open this up. The IDE project files are automatically installed and adapted for the project. So you're basically ready, ready to work with this project if you use IntelliJ ID. Um, and if you look at the build file here, you can see that um, it extends project and project has all of the features that allow you to build your tool, your application. So what if you um, want to say, Let's 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 customize um, let's customize the compile the clean let's say the clean face. Um, so now I can say whenever clean is called, it has to say cleaning. And now I do build clean, and now it says cleaning. Yay! Now what if you don't want to uh, call super clean? So the way this is structured is that um, this is overriding the like the project class. So if you want to create your own build commands, you can say 
uh, with the annotation build command, now it becomes a new, a new build command. Let's, let's name this clean new, and it's going to be cleaning, but I want to actually use the clean operation. So um, commands are dissociated from operations, so I can do clean operations operation, and I can configure it from this project um, and then execute. So this is going to do the same thing as before. So let's try this. Clean should now not print the message anymore, and the clean you now prints the message. Um, and then you can see here that it does, it says like from project, this populates it from whatever is set in your project, but then you can basically, uh, if you look at the clean operation here, you can see that there's a whole bunch of uh, ways to configure which directories you, you, want, you want to show, um, which, uh, which directories you want to clean, or any type of other um, data that is used by the clean operation. And you can use the same thing for any of the other operations, like the jar operation and the war op operation. Those are all configurable from your project, but then also individually tweakable for any of the uh, data that is driving the operation. So that's it. Um, let me know if you've got any questions or thoughts or ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.